Michael Cole, Corey Graves, Byron Saxton. Here to call what will surely be a highly contested matchup. Oh, man, this is going to be great. What a strike. I'm going to destroy your face. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oof. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. This is attack. Here's the cover. No trouble kicking out of that one. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. Ooh, what impact. He looks a bit off his game here. He's going to need to find a way to fire back. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment today. Oh. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Ooh-wee. Nailed it. Jarring impact. Cedric Alexander into the cover. That was nowhere near a three count. So resourceful. What a stomp. Good grief. Sami Zayn starting to oh, struggle. Man. He's really going to need to create some space for himself. Cedric Alexander is one of the most highly touted cruiserweights in recent history, but his road to the Cruiserweight Championship took a lot of twists and turns. Yeah, Michael, a lot of us expected to see Cedric contend for the title as soon as he joined 205 Live, but the drama with Alicia Fox and a knee injury kept him... There's a pin now. Beautiful technique. You're not going to win many matches that easily. Not yet. This might be it. Oh, my. You guys mentioned Cedric Alexander's path to the Cruiserweight Championship. He was actually number one contender before the tournament started, but had to compete in the Cruiserweight Championship tournament just like everybody else. A lesser man would have complained or put less than his best effort in, but it made Cedric fight harder than ever. It took almost two years, but Cedric Alexander became Cruiserweight Champion on the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Boom! Michinoku Driver. Well, this will damage your back. Cedric Alexander is perhaps the most balanced arsenal on 205 Live. He can hit you from the sky with his strikes and toss you into the lumbar check. How do you prepare for Cedric? Injuries happen to everyone who steps in the ring, and when they keep you sidelined for an extended period, you know it's a more serious ailment. Cedric Alexander yeah. missed five months with a knee injury. Do the math. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, what a boot to the face! Oh, nasty impact. Discussing strategy against Cedric Alexander earlier, Corey mentioned Cedric's knee injury. Do you think that's a sound move, Byron? I don't know, Michael. A truly serious injury forces a competitor to change. We know what's coming here. Deep. Nice springboard clothesline. He's in the driver's... Looking to steal one there, perhaps. He's got some more fight in him, guys. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Hold on, guys. We got something going on here. Yeah, they got some words for each other. 2017's Hell in a Cell was a memorable night due to one of the most unforeseen actions in WWE's recent history. You would think, Michael, that Shane McMahon leaping off Hell in a Cell... Well, that was interesting. <laughs> yeah, i say that was the very definition of... Blue Thunderbomb! This has got to be it. That's not going to do it. Oh, man, I don't know who to root for. Truly devastating, Cole. I think Sami Zayn just secured this match. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Digging deep for a kick out. Cedric Alexander proving he's no pushover with that kick out. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no count outs. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. Harsh impact. Whoa, Zayn dodged that one. Lightning quick. I like the way you describe this match. Alexander's looking to end it. <laughs> Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. And he's feeling his oats now. Oh, boy, he is rolling.
Alexander's looking to end it. What a face buster. Is it enough to put Sami Zayn away? He's going for the pin. Digging deep for a kick out. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. He has him right where he wants him. Turning it around, it's Sami Zayn with the reversal. Here he goes. Oh, Zayn is on a roll again. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Drop kick! Oh, right in the back. Avoids trouble there. Takes him down hard. You gotta love that kind of aggression. The impact. And the nasty drop. Oh boy, he is rolling. Alexander's looking to end it. Down with a face buster. Warm up the bus. This one is over. Here's the cover for the win! And Sami Zayn gets out of the pinfall. Can you believe what he's withstood here tonight? He's calling for it. Cedric Alexander looking to take the lumbar check. That might have done it, Cole. He's got him covered. One, two, three! Unbelievable. This singles match is over. Well, this is one matchup that lived up to its billing, and then some. I'm not easily impressed, but even I thought that match was one of the best I've seen in a while. That's what I love about the WWE, a match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise Here us. Here is your winner, Good stuff. Cedric Alexander. It's all over and Alexander stands victorious. Very, very impressive. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. And that's yet another great match the city of Baltimore has hosted over the years.